Hello people and welcome to my channel where I upload every week about digital painting and today it's about painting watercolor flowers. So for this I'm in Photoshop as you can see and here with a new layer I'm quickly adding a few colors of a nice peach orange kind of color and then again just lowering the saturation and painting it again with a lighter hue now making a new layer again rename it as petal if you wish and with the lasso tool shortcut L just start with making any random selection or like a petal increase the opacity of the filler bucket tool with which is a shortcut G and then with the lighter color I'm just filling it inside again repeating the same process you can go ahead and duplicate that same petal and rotate it around but I would suggest to paint and select individually for each of the petal so that it's all different because flowers are generally pretty much organic so repeating the process of selecting with the lasso tool and filling it up inside with the color fill bucket I'm having a nice floral outcome here now it's time to make a nice stem for it so this is good could look nice so again this time I am choosing another color that is the lighter green like this and then just hit ok and fill it up again in the same way Control D for deselection now select each of the layer by hitting Control on the layer thumbnail and select add a layer mask to make each layer with a mask outline so that whenever we paint in further steps the colors will not hamper the outline the hour sketch so now picking up the darker color lowering down the opacity of the brush to 30 to 30 to 40 percent it could look nice and now select the layer according to your selection of petal and then paint it like this from outer side I just want a little shadow not too much so painting in a very light handed way I am using one by Wacom tablets so it's very nice to paint with and the brush that I am using is the soft round brush so I am getting the softer details that's what I'm looking for you can try out different brushes too but my favorite are these classics the soft round and hard round so these are pretty much giving nicer blend of colors don't pressurize your hand too much if you are having a pen tablet it's well, well and good and you can just follow me with me here and if not you can just find your own perfect one so you can see how our flower is coming up nicely isn't it great so much in a 3d way so just paint it lighter if you still think that you need a lighter opacity so just go ahead and lower down the opacity and keep on painting until you are satisfied I'm also picking up the green color and just increasing the color hue making it darker and again similarly painting from one side to add the light and shadows effect just zooming out to make our flower quite big for the canvas now it's time to add some details and for that I'm using the hard round pressure size brush and again according to the layers where the petals are placed 
I'm just making some linear details or you can just add a new layer because I will be having some erasing some styles so using for eraser so I would like to keep this layer different than all other layers so I'm simply adding a new layer where I will be painting for this particular layer only this particular petal so I'm just duplicating that layer mask by holding alt and drag and it up and with the smaller brush in size I'm keeping it here 5 to 9 pixels you can choose your own and with the eraser tool selected and the soft round brush I'm just erasing some of the parts keep in mind that don't erase in a hard opacity lower down the opacity of the eraser too similarly repeating on this side so that it comes out very organic way I'm just keeping my all the layer of the petals different so it would be very handy when I come for erasing those detailed areas so similarly here you can try this method even without going into different layers it's up to your wish but by doing it in a layer form it's just adding a much more delicacy so now it's time to add some nice textures to for that I'm just going to filter noise and for this I'll be using monochromatic and Gaussian and you can see it's 2.5 is quite nice so this is how our effect is now looking at so it's pretty much getting up into the form I'm adding some tiny details with the soft round brush and hard darker hue of the green so that our flower blend together with the stem I have grouped my all of the drawings or the composition then again I just duplicated with a control J and right click and merged it so that it's now pretty much easy to work with in just one single layer so making a new layer below that and adding a background texture for that again I'm using the hard round brush with a lower flow say 30 to 35 that would be pretty much nicer you can just lower down or increase the size of brush wherever you want and change with the colors I'm using some of the petal colors some of the leaves so that it comes up as a nice background so again you can see just don't constraint your hands just move with the flow and go to the Gaussian blur filter like this and I would try to make a nicer of say 8 pixels blur and again adding next blur that is the motion blur so keeping the settings like this I think it's pretty much nicer you can play with the opacity of the background also anytime or just play make a good placement if you wish now for a new tip I would add that you can anytime recolor your artwork in a very very simple way even if you have the merged layers ready like this so my whole composition is in one layer so just go to image mode and hue saturation or hit ctrl u and for that I'm just going to increase the saturation you can see this is just coloring up my stem part but I'd want the colors to be focused in the flower petals so for that I'm just making a nice selection over there with the lasso tool so that it's quite all areas of the petals are selected now again hit ctrl U for the hue saturation bar and this time increasing the saturation or changing the hue a little lightness I would keep as it is 
you can see it was earlier a peachy orange and now it's quite pink I like this color though I think we are pretty much done with have a understanding of how to paint a watercolor flower to making its background adding textures and recoloring it I hope you guys like this tutorial and if yes don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video share it with your friends and hit the bell icon to do not miss the next video